Hi everyone, welcome to MLTMCQ and Notes. In this video, I am discussing about questions and answers from previous animal husbandry exam. First question, which of the following factor increases the ESR value? Option A, albumin. Option B, spherocyte. Option C, microcyte. Option D, cholesterol. The answer is option D, cholesterol. Hypercholesterolemia increases ESR, especially in elderly men and postmenopausal women. In hyperlipidemia, ESR also increases. It seems to be the hyperlipidemia causes silent vascular diseases that produces the ESR elevation. Let's go through other options. Option A, albumin. The ESR slightly decreases by increasing concentration of albumin. Then spherocyte, the, pres the presence of spherocyte also inhibits Rolex formation and can decrease the ESR. Presence of spherocyte also inhibits Rolex formation and can decrease the ESR. Uh, then microcyte which also decreases the ESR due to slower slitling due to slower settling. Second question, in autoclave sterilization occurs at option A, moist heat at 100 degrees Celsius, option B, moist heat at above 100 degrees Celsius, option C, moist heat below 100 degrees Celsius, option D, moist heat at 100 degrees Celsius. The answer is option B, moist heat above 100 degrees Celsius. The temperature is 121 degrees Celsius for autoclave. Uh, let's go through other options. Moist heat at 100 degrees Celsius which includes boiling, steaming and tindalization. Moist heat at 100 degrees Celsius including boiling, steaming, tindalization. Then moist heat below 100 degrees Celsius that is pasteurization, water bath, inspissation. Pasteurization, water bath, inspissation. Okay. Then, third question. An example of blood parasite. Option A, endamoeba. Option B, giardia. Option C, plasmodium. Option D, tinea. The answer is option C, tinea. Other blood parasites are Babesia, Leishmania, Trypanosoma and Toxoplasma. Uh, then moving to the other options. Endamoeba Histolytica, which lives in large intestine. Endamoeba Histolytica inhabits in large intestine. Then Giardia, also seen in intestine. Then Tinea lives in small intestine. Then fourth question. Serum differs from plasma due to the absence of option A fibrinogen, option B globulin, option C thromboplastin, option D prothrombin. The answer is option A fibrinogen. Serum and plasma both comes from liquid portion of the blood. Serum and plasma both comes from liquid portion of the blood. Plasma is a clear and yellowish fluid part of the blood. It contains blood clotting agents. It contains blood clotting agents. And serum is the liquid part of blood after the coagulation and without the clotting factors. Without the clotting factors. Fifth question. Blood carrying capacity of Sally's pipette. Option A 0.2 ml. Option B 0.02 ml. Option C 2 ml option D 20 ml answer is option B 0.02 ml that is 20 microliter Salis method used to determine the hemoglobin in blood Salis hemoglobinometer is used for the purpose it contains a hemoglobin tube pipette and stirrer and carburetor hydrochloric acid converts hemoglobin to acid hematin which is then diluted until the color of the solution matches that of the carburetor block. Okay. Hem hydrochloric acid converts hemoglobin to acid hematin, 
it is then diluted until the color of the solution matches that of the comparator block. Then sixth question, which of the following is not a red cell indices? Option A, MCH, Option B, MCD, Option C, MCP, Option D, MCHC. The answer is Option C, MCP. MCP, which stands for Monocyte Chemoattractant Protein. That is one of the chemokines that regulate migration and infiltration of monocyte or macrophages. Okay. Answer is MCP. Then moving to other options. MCH. That is mean corpuscular hemoglobin. We know that. Then MCHC. That is mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration. That's also, you know. Okay. Then uh, option B. MCD. It is a mean corpuscular diameter. It has been an old desire to register the morphological properties of the erythrocyte. It is a old desire. Okay. MCD. The, so the answer is option C. MCP. Then seventh question. Abnormal constituent present in urine during starvation. Option A. Ketone bodies. Option B. Protein. Option C. Bile salt. Option D. Sugar. Answer is option A. Ketone bodies. Ketone bodies are acetone, acetoacetate and beta hydroxybutyrate. Uh, Rotheras test is used for detecting ketone bodies, especially acetone and acetoacetate. Then legally test which is used to detect acetone. Gerhard test also used for detection of ketone body mainly for acetoacetate. Then Hart's test. Heart, Hart's test used for detection of beta hydroxy butyrate. Other options bile salt, which can be detected by Hayes test. Sulfur powder is used here. Sulfur powder is used here for the Hayes test. Then protein detected by sulfosalicylic acid method. Then sugar can be detected by Benedict's test. Then eighth question. Most of the human pathogenic bacteria belongs to option A. Capnophilic bacteria. Option B. Psychrophilic bacteria. Option C. Mesophilic bacteria. Option D. Thermophilic bacteria. Answer is option C. Mesophilic bacteria. Mesophilic bacteria grows best at moderate temperature ranges uh, from 20 to 45 degrees Celsius. Most of the human pathogenic bacteria belongs to this type uh, like Staphylococcus aureus, E. coli, Listeria, Monocytogens, etc. Uh, go through other options. Capnophilic bacteria. Uh, microorganism grow under high concentration of carbon dioxide. The, the bacteria which grows at high concentration of carbon dioxide. Examples for capnophilic bacteria are Campylobacter, Haemophilus influenza, Neisseria gonorrhea, etc. Then psychrophilic bacteria, uh, which grow at the temperature ranges from growth on minus 20 degree Celsius to 20 degree Celsius. Minus 20 degree Celsius to 20 degree Celsius. Then uh, example for psychrophilic bacteria are Pseudomonas, Moraxella, Micrococcus species, Flavobacterium, Psychrobacter, etc. Then thermophilic bacteria that can grow at high temperature. That can grow at high temperature which ranges from 41 degree Celsius to 122 degree Celsius. It includes Lactobacillus, Streptococcus, Streptococcus thermophilus, uh, and bifidobacteria. Okay, then ninth question. The immediate precursor of red blood cells. Option A, myelocyte. Option B, megakaryoblast. Option C, reticulocyte. Option D, the thrombocyte. And the answer is option C, reticulocyte. Reticulocytes are slightly immature RBCs. 
uh, other options myelocyte is a young cell of the granulocytic series occurring normally in bone marrow then megakaryoblast which is a beginning of thrombocytic series it is a precursor cell to a promegakaryocyte megakaryoblast is a precursor cell to a promegakaryocyte which in turn becomes a megakaryocyte during hematopoiesis then thrombocyte which is also called platelet it forms clots and prevent bleeding then 10th question npn substance present in blood option a glucose option b albumin option c urea option d cholesterol answer is option c urea npn that is non protein nitrogen uh, non protein nitrogen substances are nitrogen containing compounds that are not protein or polypeptides it is a nitrogen containing compounds that are not proteins or polypeptides example for npn substances are urea uric acid ammonia creatinine creatine and free amino acids urea uric acid ammonia Amin free amino acids, creatinine and creatine. Then, eleventh question. An example of explosive chemical. Option A, casein, that is potassium cyanide. Option B, picric acid. Option C, acetic acid. Option D, benzidine. Answer is option B, picric acid. When hydrated picric acid is typically safe to handle. But it become powerful explosive when dry. Uh, ensure that uh, the picric acid is under a layer of water. Okay. Then moving to other options. Casein. That is potassium cyanide. Which is a highly toxic chemical. Then acetic acid. Acetic acid is a corrosive chemical. Then benzidine. Benzidine is a carcinogenic chemical. 12th question, Buffy coat contains option A, leukocytes and platelets, option B, erythrocytes and platelets, option C, platelets only, option D, leukocyte and erythrocyte. Answer is option A, leukocytes and platelets. Buffy coat is a layer of mixed white blood cells and platelets created by high speed centrifugation of whole blood. Buffy coat commonly used for DNA extraction. Buffy coat commonly used for DNA extraction. Then 13th question, the only artery which carry impure blood, option A, coronary artery, option B, renal artery, option C, hepatic artery, option D, pulmonary artery. The answer is option D, pulmonary artery. And the only vein which carry pure blood, that is pulmonary vein. 14th question, eosinophilia is seen in option A, typhoid, option B, pneumonia, option C, asthma, option D, chicken pox. Answer is option C, asthma. Eosinophilia is seen in parasitic infections and allergic infections like asthma. Then uh, let's go through other options. Uh, neutrophilia is seen in typhoid and pneumonia. Neutrophilia seen in typhoid and pneumonia. Then lymphocytosis seen in chickenpox. That is viral infection. Then 15th question. Sterilization method for antibiotic solution. Option A. Ultrasonic vibration. Option B. Inspiration. Option C. Radiation. Option D. Filtration. Answer is option D. Filtration. Filtration is the preferred method of sterilizing heat sensitive liquid and gases without exposure to denaturing heat rather than destroying contaminating microorganism it simply removes them okay then it is the method of choice for sterilizing antibiotic solution toxic chemicals radioisotopes vaccines and carbohydrate which are all heat sensitive it's a method of choice for sterilizing antibiotic solution, toxic chemicals, radioisotopes, vaccines and carbohydrate which are all heat sensitive. Okay, thank you.